Governor David Ige delivered his final State of the State address today, with it proposing a $100 refund for taxpayers and for each of their dependents. Max Rodriguez reports. Among Governor David Ige's plans was a $100 refund for every taxpayer and each dependent. The governor says he will work with the legislature to get that money into people's wallets. Governor David Ige says the state has seen a better economic recovery from the pandemic than expected. As you know, the economic recovery uh, has gone better than most have forecasted. And so we do believe at this point in time uh, we can afford to uh, return dollars to the taxpayer. Hawaii State House of Representative leaders say this initiative would cost the state $110 million coming from the general fund. It requires approval from the legislature, but House Speaker Psyche says it aligns with their plans to provide relief for working families. It's something that we will uh, definitely put on our radar screen and we'll consider and we'll see if we, we can factor that into the state budget this year. Governor Ige also spoke about plans to expand broadband connectivity to remote areas of the state. Proposing the largest investment in technology in our state's history. A total of more than $400 million. Senate President Ronald Kochi, in his response to the governor, says he wants to see more details. The broadband plan, uh, where are we deploying it? Uh, are we good on the middle mile? Is it the last mile? Is it towers as opposed to fiber? The governor says he is considering a public-private partnership. The state would cover the broadband infrastructure needed while partnering with an internet provider. The whole notion is how do we create a framework baseline infrastructure that we can make available to all the private providers so that they would be able to deliver broadband services to each and every community, including Molokai and Lanai. Max Rodriguez, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.